In Hinduism and Jainism, aparigraha Sanskrit, aparigraha is the virtue of non-possessiveness, non-grasping or non-greediness, aparigra is the opposite of parigra, and refers to keeping the desire for possessions to what is necessary or important, depending on one's life stage and context. The precept of aparigraha is a self-restraint temperance from the type of greed and avarice where one's own material gain or happiness comes by hurting, killing or destroying other human beings, life forms or nature. Aparigraha is related to and in part a motivator of dana proper charity, both from givers and receivers perspective. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Etymology and meaning. Aparigraha is a compound in Sanskrit, made of a and paragra. The prefix a means non, so aparigra is the opposite of paragra. So aparigraha is speech and actions that oppose and negate paragraha. The word paragra means to amass, to crave, to seek, to seize, and to receive or accept material possessions or gifts from others. The word also includes the idea of doing good with the expectation of benefit or reward, not just for the sake of merely doing good. Paragraha includes the results as well as the intent, in other words, it means the attitudes of craving, possessiveness, and hoarding, but also the things that have been acquired because of those attitudes. The concept of a paragraha as one of the means to liberate the soul from the cycle of birth and death was first laid down by first Tithankara in Jainism. Rishavdeva, Manir Williams states that the word paragraha has roots in the Vedic texts as well, referring to fencing an altar, enclosing something, assuming or putting on a dress or receiving something. In the Brahmanas and later texts, the term contextually means accepting or taking a gift, acquiring, possessing, claiming, controlling something such a property, or assistance, or constraining force on others. In some texts, the root reflects the state of marriage or having a family. The virtue of a paragraha means taking what is truly necessary and no more. In Yoga school of Hinduism, this concept of virtue has also been translated as abstaining from accepting gifts. Not expecting, asking, or accepting inappropriate gifts from any person. And not applying for gifts which are not to be accepted. The concept includes in its scope non covetousness and non possessiveness. Taylor states a paragraha includes the psychological state of letting go and the releasing of control, transgressions, fears, and living a content life unfettered by anxieties. Jainism A paragraha is one of the virtues in Jainism. It is also one of the five vows that both householders sravaka and ascetics must observe. This Jain vow is the principle of limiting one's possessions paramita paragraha and limiting one's desires ICCHA parimana. .In Jainism, worldly wealth accumulation is considered as a potential source of rising greed, jealousy, selfishness and desires. Giving up emotional attachments, sensual pleasures and material possession is a means of liberation, in Jain philosophy. Eating enough to survive is considered more noble than eating for indulgence. Similarly, all consumption is more appropriate if it is essential to one's survival, and inappropriate if it is a form of hoarding, show off or for ego. Non-possession and non-attachment are a form of virtue, and these are recommended particularly in later stages of one's life. After ahimsa, a paragraha is the second most important virtue in Jainism. Topic: <inaudible> Hinduism. <inaudible> <inaudible> In the Yoga Sutras 2 a paragraha is listed as the fifth of the yamas or code of self-restraint, after with ahimsa non-violence, satya non-falsehoods, truthfulness, astya not stealing, and brahmacharya sexual chastity in one's feelings and actions. Ahimsa satyastaya brahmakaya parigraha yama, non-violence, non-falsehood, non-stealing, non-cheating, celibacy, chastity, and non-possessiveness are the five yamas. 30. A paragraha is thus one of the five essential restraints yamas, the don'ts, in Hinduism, that with five essential practices niyamas, the dos, 
are suggested for right, virtuous, enlightened living. While Yoga Sutras distills the ten yamas and niyamas, these virtues appear, in various discussions, in Vedic texts. It is part of ethical theory in Hinduism. James Wood states, a paragraha is the virtue of abstaining from appropriating objects because one understands the disadvantages in acquiring them, keeping them, losing them, being attached to them, or in harming them. Patanjali suggests that greed and coveting material wealth increases greed and possessiveness, a cycle that distracts from good reasons for activity that should motivate a person, and ultimately to a state where a person seeks material wealth without effort and by harming, hurting or impoverishing someone else, or some living creature. Yoga Sutras Sutra 2.39 states, a quote explaining what John McAfee puts forth in regards to the influence of greed on human behaviors, connections between a few attachments, when we start to satisfy desires, new levels of greed or attachment can start to develop. Coupled with astia, paragraha coveting, hoarding, can lead an individual to lie, steal, cheat, or even murder for the desired item, regardless of the outcome of their actions. Greed is probably the highest act of not practicing a paragraha, since greed generally equates to collecting things well beyond one's immediate or foreseeable future needs, taking without effort, harming someone's position and life by reducing input, possessiveness impedes freely accessing public information, changing quality of relations between public service and citizens and harms valued considerations of another's kindness. A significant change is bringing about an orderly virtue, diligence into fields formerly motivated by unhealthy competition and monetary gain, the latter made human life to be unconcerned and uninterested about the positions moved to other states and more so, switched to temporary replacements, and is informally to restrict available services due to moment-by-moment -moment choices, also by hoarding funds and wealth. Coveting and harmful accruement violates a belief in property ownership as a result of one's own efforts. Aparigrahestherijan Mukathantasambodha, with constancy of a paragraha, a spiritual illumination of the how and why of motives and birth emerges. 39. Restraint from possessiveness and greed, or a paragraha, leads one away from harmful and injurious greed, refraining from harming others, and towards the spiritual state of good activity and understanding one's motives and origins. The virtue of non coveting, non possessing is a means of sadhana, path of spiritual existence. In outer world, a paragraha manifests as non-possessiveness with simple living, while in psychological terms, it is a state of non-attachment, non-craving and one that envelops the sense of contentment. Jealousy is an eventual result of a mental setup directed by accumulation and then want of accomplishments garnered by successful people. Numerous accomplishments will accumulate jealousy without any real limit that could control and inhibit this desire. Shadrapu are spiritual ailments preventing our movement to from the material to a higher awareness and good direction dharma of the senses. Impulses can be broken down by a surrender of the outcome or by surrender of the ego to God. <laughs> <laughs> Relation to charity and conservation Some suggest a paragraha implies the concepts of charity dana, and conservation. Taking and wasting more of nature, or from others, is inconsistent with the ethical precept of a paragraha. Scholars suggest a paragraha allies with ideas that inspire environmental and ecological sustainability. A paragraha suggests the reduction of waste and adds a spiritual dimension to preventing destructive consumption of ecosystems and nature. Topic. Difference from Astia Astia is also one of the five vows taken by Jain ascetic monks to attain liberation. It is the virtue of non-stealing and not wanting to appropriate, or take by force or deceit or exploitation, by deeds or words or thoughts, what is owned by and belongs to someone else. A paragraha, in contrast, is the virtue of non-possessiveness and non-clinging to one's own property, non-accepting any gifts or particularly improper gifts offered by others, and of non-avarice, non-craving in the motivation of one's deeds, words and thoughts. In literature 
The ancient Tamil moral text of Tirukkural speaks about a paragraha in its chapters on renunciation chapter 35 and extirpation of desire chapter 37, besides various other places. See also Ahimsa Astya Brahmacharya Moderation Niyamas Satya Virtue Yamas